Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Game Wars version of the GTX 960 in their pretty familiar edition with the Phantom Cooler. The product box is rather simple and actually very much the same as before. On the front we have a picture of the graphics card and opening up the front panel you can see the graphics card itself through this transparent window. And around it we have some talk about Phantom Cooler design technology and what it brings on the table performance wise, GameWard's custom design and components, alongside of Nvidia's features which came in with the Maxwell architecture. Going to the back of the box you can see those same information from the front in a more compact form and a list with the minimum system requirements. Opening up the box beneath the graphics card you can see a special compartment with a bundle, in there we have user manuals and optical disc with drivers and software, two Molex to 1 6 pin PC Express power adapter and a DVI-I to VGA adapter. And here is the graphics card itself. Not so long ago we did the Game Wars GTX 970 Phantom unboxing and review and comparing it to GTX 960 they practically have the same cooler. As you can see the Phantom cooler is really large in dimensions covering the whole footprint of the graphics card. Since you don't see the fans on first glance you would think that this is even a passive model of graphics card. Despite of that we overall love the look of it but we wish Gamer didn't use such glossy plastics. Better part of the aesthetic outer shell of the cooler is made out of plastic, combining some metal parts on the edges and the back portion of the graphics card which hangs out a bit. Unfortunately back there you won't find any backplate. The cooler itself actually protrudes a bit as you can see it here, so bear in mind that if you plan to do an SLI configuration. Top is dominated by the aluminium fins through which you can see 4 heat pipes coming off from the heat sinks which are placed on the bottom directly on the GPU and parts of the surrounding PCB and other components. In between that we have two 80mm fans which are specially developed and patented for this occasion and here we are talking about their way of installation or in this case removal. They are very easy to access to so you can clean them from dust or in worst case scenario replace them if they fail. For powering up this model uses only one 6-pin PCI Express power adapter which is great if you plan to do a multi-GPU setup since it doesn't need a lot of power. But bear in mind that GTX 960 supports only one SLI bridge connection for up to two-way SLI graphics card configuration. Going to the front of the card, for video outputs we have an unreferenced lineup of two DVIs, one HDMI and one DisplayPort. GTX 960 being a less demanding GPU from the perspective of TDP, in combination with this cooler you can see very decent low temperatures of under 70 degrees Celsius while being relatively silent when it comes to fans but noisy on the coil wine. Idle temperatures are pretty usual and in this state GTX 960 Phantom is barely audible. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Gainwards GTX 960 Phantom graphics card. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.